I totally forgot which coffee is which. I gotta check them now. Are you ready for today, Thomas? Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Yes. You nervous? Nope. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. You're about to make a really big commitment. Oh, I know. All right, just making sure you're sure. I think we got everything set up. We're gonna clean up the trash and put the ladders away. Cinco de Mayo! Perfect day to party! We'll be back in a couple hours. Whew. Getting a little lightheaded from this helium. How you doing? Good. I'm getting shots and stuff worked out for the wedding. You guys aren't even dressed yet. No. Oh, come on. I've been in this three. thing for like two hours now. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah, it's over a mess. That's okay, it looks all right. Uh, it gives it that, um, I don't know. Ridiculous look? Yeah, let's go with that. That'd be great. Um, what else do I put in that corner? You like better hold it in your hands before. Oh, <laughs> hold it in your hands, and the next thing you know. I'm gonna go over that J one more time just to even it out. Hi, Sam. Hi, Bull Sam. What do you got? That can all thing up. No, get up there. No. Oh, shit. Cole. Running again because we're doing weird things. Just work with it, man. I'm 
I'm going for Once it. Once they run, they just run. They really can't stop it. See? All right. That's good. There's Patty running. There you go. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Your mom's taking her to the right. Beautiful. Hey, Cole. Say, oh, you yeah, look cute. One of all yeah. the brothers on dad's side, one of all mom's. Hello. Oh, hi, Grandpa. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just want to tell you. She's getting dressed. Come here. Let's we'll see if she'll like you. Can we see her? We'll see. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Just getting a few shots before the ceremony well, begins. She needs Leather either. It's no in the leather. car actually. You want me to go get it? <laughs> Preferably. Preferably. I wanted the full coon effect. I love you. Absolutely. My future husband here. Why not? Hello. Hello.
Thank you. Maybe see how. Good afternoon. My name is Pastor Dale Coffin, with the Center for Methodist Church, and it's my pleasure to welcome you it's to good. this uh, marriage ceremony of uh, Thomas uh, Larson and Janita Henderson. Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered together here in the sight of God and the presence of these witnesses to join together Thomas Larson and Janita Henderson in a holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God at the time of creation for the well-being of mankind. It is safeguarded by the laws of Moses, affirmed by the words of the prophets, and hallowed by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Marriage is a union close and enduring, a relationship in which a man and a woman forsake all others to become one flesh. This union illustrates the relationship between Christ and his church as well. Marriage is therefore not to be entered into by any lightly, but reverently, soberly, and in the fear of God. Thomas and Janita, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that covenant love alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. Let Christ, who was loyal to his own unto death, be your example. Let the Apostle Paul be your teacher who wrote, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. So if you keep this steadfast love ever before you, and remain faithful to each other, and endeavor to fulfill the vows you now will make, God's blessing will be upon you, and the home you establish will endure through life's every change. Now Thomas and Janita, what you are beginning here today is something brand new. You are saying to each other and to the world that you are in this for good. You each have walked a long road to get to this point, and it's been my pleasure to help you, if even just a little, toward a new and better future than you have ever had. It won't be easy, because nothing of any lasting value ever is. There will be trials that will test your commitment and your faith, but God says in his word that blessed are those who persevere through trials. You are establishing a home today where the love of God is to be shown and practiced. Where things like forgiveness and mercy and joy and love are to be in abundance. A home where children get to see a mom and dad practice what they preach, model the love of God and keep the faith, even when it's hard to do, and very especially when it's hard to do. This is no fly-by-night promise that you make today. It's no video game that you can turn off when you get tired of playing. Right, Thomas? Okay. The commitment to each other that you make today is serious and it is to be lasting. You have many witnesses here today, but the only witness that really counts is God himself. He is here and he is with you, through the good, the bad, and even the ugly times. He will strengthen you if you turn to him. He will bless you and your children as you serve him. He will give you an emotional, a spiritual, and physical intimacy far beyond what you could imagine if you let him. So I challenge you today to keep your eyes on Jesus. Your hearts open to his love and let that love overflow to your love for each other and for your family. I challenge you to outgive and outserve each other, to never look back, to never quit, and to never settle for less than the best for your relationship, for your marriage bed, for your family, and for your walk with the Lord who has brought you together. In 1 Corinthians it says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. So my final challenge to you both is this. Run this race of marriage to a win. Yeah. Thomas, will you have Janita to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her, so long as you both shall live? Janita, will you have Thomas to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both shall live? Who gives Janita to be married to Thomas? Boy.
Thomas, would you repeat after me? I, Thomas, take you to Geneva to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Janita, would you repeat after me? I, Janita, take you, Thomas, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Now Thomas and Gina have each written their vows uh, to one another, so I'm going to ask them to read those vows. that you each hold are symbols, symbols of your love for each other, symbols of your everlasting commitment to each other. The rings are made of precious metal to remind you of the preciousness and beauty of the union that you are now forming. Thank you. 
you'd have to make to see the ring I promised. This ring I give you, in token and pledge, of our constant faith and steadfast love. Let's all pray together, please. Our Heavenly Father and our God, we thank you, Lord, so much for the marriage of Thomas and Janita. Lord, I thank you for the devotion to each other as a couple, for their devotion to their family, to their children. Father, I pray that uh, this would be the start of something brand new for each of them. Lord, that you would, you would meld them together as one. Father, that you would bless them in all the days, months, and years ahead that their home and their marriage would grow strong and endure through all of life's storms. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. For as much as Thomas and Janita have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving of rings, therefore, by the authority granted to me as a minister of Jesus Christ, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Thomas, you may kiss your bride.
I actually filled all these balloons up myself this morning. She cut the string. Thanks. You'll get told. 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 You
I do good though? Yeah, you did great, man. You like them? Better than you thought they were gonna be? Got any words of advice for your brother now that he's married? Yeah. What's no. that? No? Okay. Hey, you got any words of advice for your brother now that he's married? Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> you got any advice for your son now that he's married? Nope. Nope. Oh How about you? You got any advice for Thomas Janita now that they're tied to knot? Um, well, just remember why you married her and keep it alive. Thank you very much. More time. Stay married. Thank you very much. Hey, do you guys have any advice for Thomas Janita now that they're finally tied the knot? Just be happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. How about you? Any words of wisdom now that they finally got married? Just be nice to each other. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. For Thomas, words of wisdom now that he's married? He's on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Thomas Janita. It's too late now. <laughs> no turning back. You got any words for Thomas Janita? Uh -huh. Any nice things to say? I'm just gonna say congratulations. That's about all I can Thank you. That's perfect. That's about all I can Perfect. Think. A happy wife is a happy marriage. Yeah, that's oh a good God. one. Happy life, right? I, don't, yeah. I don't really believe that. I'm just trying to suck up. <laughs> <laughs> you got any words of advice for Thomas Janita? Yeah. My heart. Love moms. You know, it's going to be happy. Thank you. How about you? Yeah. Me, I always care about her. My best friend. That's perfect. What you both said was great. How about yeah. you? You got any words for Thomas and Janita? No, nope. not really. Ah, that's all right. Thank you. Words of wisdom for Thomas Janita now that they're married? Share the chores. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yep. Hey, can I bug you both for a second? You got any words of wisdom for Thomas Janita now that they finally tied the knot? Hang in there, Thomas and Janita. Hang in there. All right. Congratulations. Just take one day at a time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Words for your brother now that he's married, man? What does that mean? Give her the tongue. Kiss her good. Give her lots of tongue. Or just you like candy. Got your words for Thomas? 
Now that he's married. I got these things and then a, the picture stick. But you got any you nice this things to say to? Yeah, you got any nice things to say to Thomas and Anita now that they're married? They did a really good job. Thank you. Treat her well. Perfect. Thank you guys. Advice for Thomas, Janita now that they're married? Don't fuck it up, either of you. Love your kids, but love yourself more. You really caught me at an off time because I just started drinking. Oh yeah? I'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay. You can say some more words. I'll say more words after more alcohol. Sounds good. Do you have any advice for Thomas now that he's married? Um, the wrong person to be asking right oh, that's now. That's okay. Because, a lot of people uh, said that. Divorces suck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys excited for your honeymoon? Yep. Oh, yeah. We're going go-karting. Yeah, first thing. Well, not first thing. <laughs> we're going to go mini-golfing, too. We're going to play a different course. Yeah. I'd go with the other hard one. There's like a hard slash medium course. Now that they're married, finally. Best is advice, stay silent. <laughs> <laughs> it's exa exactly what I expected. Any words for Thomas, Janita? Words of advice? Sorry to put you on the spot. Doing it to everybody though. Never forget that you love each other. Thank you. It's perfect. Keep through the good and the bad. You got any words of advice for Thomas Janina now that they're married? No. Oh. That's excellent. Thank you. <laughs> any words of advice for Thomas Janita, Mom? Um, best of luck and best wishes and um, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry. That's good. Oh, I'm recording your brother. Just got painted toenails. Look at those pretty nails. So manly. Match. Match the color. Good job. We should do both. What do you got more? Yeah, you were there when I started because you don't want my Oh, he did both? Wow. Very nice. How's the food? Everywhere. How's that potato salad? That's your best answer? That's your best answer? That's your best answer? Yeah. Now, what's your name? Okay, going on to this person here. Hello. How's the food? It's real good. It's like I'm at a five star fancy restaurant right now. How about the potato the salad? Pasta de jus, the salad de potato, and the uh, ham and turkey sandwich. Yeah, that's how everything fancy. That's how restaurants go. Okay. Now, how's the macaroni and potato salad? How about the sandwich? Looks good. I got a little chip on it. I think it's better. What's your name? How's the food? Good. Macaroni salad? Good. Chips? Normal. Sandwich? Yep. Why do you think everything is everything since I heard the 80s? What's your name? Rupert. Here. <laughs> AKA Thomas. Yeah. 
Okay, how's the food? Oh yeah, by the way, that's the groom and that's the bride. Oh, what's the beauty? Obviously. Okay. So how was the macaroni salad? Awesome. Chips? Sandwiches? What's your name? Okay. How's the food? How about the macaroni salad? I haven't tried that yet. Potato salad? Pretty good. Chips? I'm sure pretty good. And sandwich. I haven't tried it yet. What's your name? Kara. Okay, going on to our next person. How's the food? Good. How about the macaroni salad? Sandwich? Good. And what's your name? Tina. Okay, that was your last contestant. I have all your attention. I'd like to say a few words to about Thomas, the road speech. Uh, I'd like to make a toast. Hey everyone! Uh, let me find a place to grab a drink. Okay. Hey everyone! Okay. When I first met Thomas, he was a freshman and I was a sophomore in high school. In fact, I wrote, I don't quite remember why we first struck up a conversation, but then he reminded me the other day we had the hand of wheel ceramics and he came right back to me. He, he would not stop talking to me. <laughs> but I also remember how annoying I thought Thomas was when I first met him and how much crap my friend Jeff and I gave him at the time. You see, back then it was just how everybody acted toward each other. We didn't know each other. It was kind of a way of testing each other's patience. The thing about Thomas, though, was no matter how much mean or rude crap Jeff and I were to throw at him, he just wanted more. It was then when I knew Thomas was special. <laughs> he started sitting with Jeff and I at lunch every day. After a while of getting to know Thomas at lunch, we quickly became friends, and even though Jeff still gave him crap, that's just Jeff. <laughs> I stopped, and my, my respect for him and his ability to handle a lot of crap grew. But one day I convinced him to take a little walk with me from the high school to his house. He was so nervous his stepdad was going to chew him out for not being home on time. <laughs> I recall though, we had a great time and he never got in trouble. Throughout most of our high school years, from then on we always had lunch together and goofed off. We even started playing hacky sack outside during lunch my senior year. And even though we all sucked and could barely keep it up more than two or three kicks. <laughs> and then I graduated high school a semester early and my life got pretty hectic and I'm not sure what happened with Thomas. During the two years I moved away, as life circumstances would have it, I ended up moving back to Richland Center, and one day out of the blue, I received a Facebook message from Thomas. We didn't spoke, speak in years, but we quickly picked up our friendship where it left off. Only now, we were much older, so we didn't have to be home at a certain time or anything. I turned 21 that year and unfortunately just became single again, so I was drinking quite a bit at the time. Thomas showed up to my house one day with two full 24 cases of beer. We quickly started drinking them, but Thomas got too drunk too quick. I recall him drinking around maybe five beers or so, I'm not quite sure. And I drank almost all the rest after that. Thomas threw up on himself in my couch that night, mainly himself, and I took care of him, cleaned him up, and got him some water. It was a good time. At this point in time in Thomas's life, he was dating a girl named Michelle, and they got engaged. I remember thinking to myself, as a newly single man, how crazy. That's too young to be engaged. But then I'd like, then I think to myself, well, what do I know? I've been single for five years. They broke up not too much longer after Thomas and I started hanging out again. I'd like to think it wasn't because of me. <laughs> Over the next few years, even though I remained single, Thomas had quite a few relationships. To my surprise, he always dove in these relationships 100% every time. I kept thinking to myself, how can anybody do that? By that I mean, meet somebody new and then have the courage to get them to yourself completely without hesitation. Thomas actually felt hard for and was engaged to all of his exes. 
Not all of them. Most of them. <laughs> Sorry. Then I myself, turned 21, and started hanging out at the local bars where I'm told he met Janita. We were hanging out all the time at that point. But at that point, we were hanging out almost every day. But once it, him and Jeanette, Janita met, I started to see less and less of him. I could tell, like most of his other relationships, that he was quickly falling apart. We got engaged rather quickly, and at the time, I didn't think much of it because he was engaged so many times before. <laughs> But as time went on in his relationship with Janita, I started noticing big changes in Thomas. He started hanging out less and less. But every time I saw him, he was becoming more responsible. He was growing up more and more. And like all of his other relationships, I could see Janita was helping him grow as a person, as a man, and helping him achieve his full potential. We fast forward now to today, and I see that now, I don't see that silly, annoying kid I once knew in high school, but I see a man. He's a great, loving, caring, respectful, mature adult. And I'm so proud of you and to be your friend. I'm proud to be your best man here today. I love you, man. So excited for you, Janita. I can't wait to see where your life's going to be. I wish you all the best. the card first. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I'll let you open that one. Nothing fancy. That's what we can do. I can't Mommy, look! Mommy, look! Mommy, look! Mommy, look! Hey, Thomas! I expect Tom, to have this card in 10 years. I'm going to look at this card and be like, Mama. damn, I actually The ceremony. Yep. And then you got a movie to play in the background that you ain't got no no reason to pay attention to at all. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a good movie. What do you got? What do you got? Let me see this. Oh, yeah. No reason to pay attention to that. Never heard of it. <laughs> it was a movie background for, you know, background noise. Quiet down a little bit. And you get a cute bag. That bag is adorable. Just saying. If I could get the bag, I'd be that one. The bag is everything. Exactly. The bag is the first impression. It's time for us to go. Hey, I love your speech. It's very beautiful. Thank you. You got any words of advice for Thomas, Janita? Um, Thomas, we might be Billy's, but you can quit being a bitch. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I really hope that they are going to last and they look good together. And Thomas looks happy. He's finally at that point. Where I would agree. He's very happy. He is, he's getting to that point where he doesn't feel like he has to run around and do all this other shit. I do see him at home a lot yeah. more than he used to be. And so yeah, I definitely agree with a lot what you said in your speech too. So thank you. Good luck, my niggas. <laughs> Point the camera that way, that guy. Just remember, Janita, this is what he's gonna look like in ten years, right there, off yonder. Yep. Yep. Here, you can. You two can have a balloon. I don't need a balloon right now. I gotta go outside. Thanks, though.
Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. because it made me cry. That was my favorite part about it. Thank you. I haven't cried in a while. I really needed it. <laughs> Love you, Thomas. Congratulations, Janita. Said in the words of Ice Cube, today was a good day. Fair enough. Uh, no. We both cried. I cried when he started giving a speech. I really did. And we got the fake mustaches to boot with everything, so. God, don't you want to just sit on that face right now? You don't know how This looks better than mine. <laughs> it's because he doesn't have any facial hair, though. Like you're trying to take it off. Look at me, kids. You really do pull that off. I mean. I think he does. What do you think, Janita? I like that mustache on Thomas. Anthony.
at the side. Wait up. Thank you. Oh, you look like you're the guy.
I can have everybody's attention just one last time. It is now time for the groom and his mother to have their dance.
Do me a big favor, buddy, and rip this thing off me. Ah! Oh, cool. mustache hairs in there. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> that stung. Ooh, that was worse. I think than, I might have got those ones with my that thumb. That was way worse than a Band-Aid. <laughs> oh. There you go. I'm glad I'm not patchy. I'm not Ramathorn on Super Troopers 2. I don't need a toupee. What? Hey, you want to walk and disappear? Guys, have any words of advice for Thomas and Janita now that they're married? Any advice, comments, or anything? I asked him. He said all he could say. What do you say, dude? <laughs> what do you say? Many, many years of happiness. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all I can Appreciate it. <laughs> Want to say that to the camera quick? Fuck off. All right. What he said. Yeah, all right. Got any words of advice, Pat? What's that? Got any words of advice for Thomas now that he's made? You're always wrong. That's a good one. I really don't have much to say either, because like in my speech I said, I've been single for five years. Come on. Come on. Dollar Let him know. It's when the bride and groom stand up there. The guy's coming in for the bride to give him a dollar or whatever. Okay. And then the next one comes in and gives him a dollar. The wedding gives a guy a dollar. Oh. I've never heard of that.
for Thomas now that he's married? Yeah, stay out of trouble. All right, that's awesome. That's probably the best news of the Give night. Get a divorce very, very quickly. All right, bye, Dan. I don't know why I said you're dumb. It didn't really make sense. The longer you do it, the more awkward it is, and I love it.
them all this. You want to see what I'm recording? That oh, works. As soon as I heard the song come on, I started laughing to myself. The real Slim Shady. The real Advice for Thomas, did you need to know if they're married? No, they have no luck. <laughs> <laughs> she that was great. She married Thomas. <laughs> <laughs>
Tchau.